My name is Jeffrey Wu. I am a wildlife photographer. For years, I have been working in Africa, photographing the most wonderful and dramatic moments of the nature. In the field, I often encountered some very talented photographers, and many of them become friends of mine. Having a conversation with them has not just helped me to have a better understanding of their work and character as a person. Very often, the conversation sparks inspiration. Hello, everybody. Today is February 16, 2021. We are in this beautiful camp, Lantori, located in East Rift Valley of Kenya. I am Jeffrey Wu, and this is a conversation with the master. You may not know his name, but I'm sure you have seen his image. Like this? Or like this? Or like this? The guest today has such an impressive resume in photographic award winning. It took me 12 minutes just went over to read all those awards. I uh, just highlighted a few of them. IPA, International Photographic Award, three times first place, European Wildlife Photographer of the Year, Travel Photographer of the Year, 2018 Wildlife Photographer of the Year. He was considered one of the most influential nature and wildlife photographer of all time. It is my absolute pleasure to introduce you the professional wildlife photographer from Netherlands, Mr. Marcel van Austin. Thank you. Marcel, this project of a conversation with a master is not about regular photographic interview, which we do with talented photographers. More like we're trying to pick out the brain behind this pair of blue eyes. Mm -hmm. We want to know what leads to you become myself and Austin, the photographer. So maybe let's start it back to the beginning, shall we? Born in 1967. Am I allowed to say this? Um, yes. Because it's Fine. in your Wikipedia anyway. Yeah. Had a bachelor degree of art, art direction and uh, graphic design. After graduation, started working in advertising for more than a decade and achieved a lot of award, including the one silver and two gold lines in Cannes Advertising Festival. That's quite impressive. Running a very successful ad agency till 2005, you sold the agency, become a wildlife photographer. So question number one, very naturally, why is that? And what triggers this change to happen? Well, obviously I've always liked uh, nature very much. So I'm passionate about uh, nature about wild places and about uh, wildlife. So that's always been there. And um, also, I'm just a creative person. I come from a very creative family. So everybody is uh, a little bit creative. My sister went to art school, my father designed his own house, etc. So that's also there. And uh, so I ended up doing art school. I didn't really know what to do. Then I picked advertising and um, it's a very creative job so i really like that um, to be able to come up with ideas and then um, make like commercials and um, print advertising billboards etc um, so I, I really like that but the world of advertising is not like real life you know it's a world of make-believe everything is uh, is fake and also the world of advertising is really fast like everything fast 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 so also stressful so i started like doing my own photography as like a way to escape from the from the, from the fast life in the city and i started to enjoy that more and more and then the, my, me and my wife we went on honeymoon to tanzania africa 
and I liked it so much that I thought this is really something that I would like to do more. And so then when we, have, when we got back from Africa, I started thinking and thinking more like, what if I become like an, uh, a wildlife photographer? But it's not easy to, to decide something like that. So you have to get used to the idea. And, but eventually, after 15 years of advertising, I decided, okay, enough. I really want to follow my passion. So that's nature and wildlife. And then I just, one day I decided, I stop and I just become like a photographer. That. Yeah, just it's like, like a sudden revelation and I went to Tanzania. Yes. Okay. We studied your body of work. There are few characteristics about your style, which one thing we always notice that is you don't have many hunting, fighting like this, sensational action job. However, your work is always remain in people's memory. That's what I call excellent body of work. Because an image you take a look and you forget it after 10 seconds, that's not a good image. A good image will always reappear like your um, the monkey with the uh, cell phone shots. Mm -hmm. So, but to me, from my observation is, your work is always have a very calm, like objective observation kind of point of view. I, is that something related to the um, your personality as a calm person, or you just that's the way you observe the nature? Well, that's a very good question. Um, I'm very certain that it has to do with my personality, yes. And it also has to do with my preferences in terms of aesthetics. So I'm very driven by aesthetics, so by the look of things. I see. And um, so that's for me, is always at the top. So it's not so much the narrative, like the story, but it's first, it's always the aesthetics. So um, in my photography, it's, everything is focused on my, uh, my personal, ideal interpretation of nature. How I have it in my head as, as like perfect. And that's what I'm trying to, uh, to photograph. So that's also uh, one of the reasons why I tend to not do a lot of action photography. Um, but really focus on um, uh, calm images like very graphic i like my images to be very clean so no distractions i pay a lot of attention to very very small details and um, that's something i really like so trying to create my own perfected interpretation uh, of nature what's your definition of a wildlife photography if we can do a selection um, like number one recording the nature what happened in the nature. Number two is a tool. The wildlife photography or nature photography is a tool to express yourself, mm -hmm. your mood, your emotion, or is just a tool to telling the story. So what's your definition good wildlife photography? Okay, so for obviously for everyone this will be different, but for me it's clearly number two. So uh, that's just, just my way of um, how I look at the world, it's, it's, um, you can see how I want the world to look like. It's what I find very pleasant, it's what I uh, find beautiful in the world. So primarily, it's, it's for me. So it's a bit selfish, but it's, I, the wildlife photography that I do is primarily, it's first for me as an artist. I create my art. And then uh, on the second place, it would be the message. So sometimes there is, a, there is a message in the image, sometimes there is not. Sometimes something can be just beautiful, you know. Not everything has to always have a message, otherwise I would have become uh, like a documentary style photographer. But primarily it's my it's aesthetics driven, uh, like as an artist, just for myself. So it is a fear to say you actually uh, subjectively express your feeling and emotion to describe 
what an objective nature world is. Yes, yeah, exactly. And, and that will be very different from the way that I look at things than other people will look at things. And, um, and that's what I really enjoy, because uh, if two people look at the same scene, you know, those two people will see different things that they like. The one person might pick that part, and I might pick the other part. And that's how you develop your own preferences and your own style. In the next part of the interview with myself and Austin. What compels you to photograph? I'm a little bit of a control freak, so I like to like control as many things as possible. I try to already in my head, try to pre-visualize the images that I want to get. I also know um, where I need to be exactly to get the look that I want, at what time do I need to be there, uh, what time of year to get the right light and the right uh, uh, weather conditions. What's the most essential attribute or trait do you think one wildlife photographer should possess? A profound love for uh, nature and for our planet and for the animals and if you have that, then it becomes easier to put in a lot of time.